general loading and unloading requirements. The hazardous materials regulations set forth general and specific loading and unloading requirements to ensure safe transportation of hazardous materials and to minimize the likelihood of an accident or other emergency during transit. The general loading and unloading requirements for hazardous material shipments are specified in 49 CFR section 177.834. Let us learn about these requirements in detail. During the loading and unloading process, the handbrake must be securely set and all other reasonable precautions must be taken to prevent motion of the motor vehicle. Hazardous material packages that are not attached to the motor vehicle must be secured against shifting during transportation. Packages having valves or other fittings must be loaded in a manner that would minimize the likelihood of damage during transportation. Tools that are likely to damage or reduce the effectiveness of the closure of any package or container should not be used during the loading and unloading process. Hazardous material packages bearing orientation markings must be loaded in a manner such that they remain in the correct position as indicated by those markings. Smoking is prohibited while loading or unloading any Class 1 explosive, Class 3 flammable liquid, Class 4 flammable solid, Class 5 oxidizing, and Division 2.1 flammable gas materials. These materials must also be kept clear of potential sources of fire or ignition, as well as any hot gases being vented by exhaust pipes. Reasonable care must be taken to prevent an undue rise in temperature of containers and their contents during transit. A motor carrier who transports hazardous materials by a cargo tank must ensure that the cargo tank is attended by a qualified person at all times during the loading and unloading process. A qualified person must be knowledgeable of the nature of the hazardous material being loaded or unloaded, instructed on the procedures to be followed in emergencies, and authorized to move the cargo tank. During the loading and unloading of a cargo tank, the qualified person must be within 7.62 meters or 25 feet of the cargo tank. The qualified person must remain alert and have an unobstructed view of the cargo tank and delivery hose to the maximum extent practicable. After the loading process is complete and prior to departure, the qualified person must conduct a visual inspection of each cargo tank motor vehicle to check for any damage that may have occurred during loading. Carriers transporting hazardous materials and cargo tanks must comply with all requirements for loading and unloading as set forth in Section 177.834 of the Hazardous Materials Regulations.